Hey everybody, Bart Miller with Cycling Strong. So we just got done doing an awesome ride today and I think we went about 90 miles total today. Absolutely a blast. So I'm gonna let Todd talk about this ride because obviously it's in his backyard and I'm also gonna have him just talk a little bit about gear and things to think about before you go on a ride because obviously pedal industries where we get all the kits and all the things that I'm doing, Todd's an expert in that. So if you ever have any questions on like quality of gear, kit, chamois, things like that. He's your guy to ask and to talk about. The number one reason I use his stuff before I, and I want to get on a tangent and stay focused, but just so you guys know, the number one reason I use his stuff is his pad. I, I just haven't found anything that's better. I mean, ASOS, he doesn't like me to bring that up. Their pad is the only one that compares to this. So you can buy an ASOS kit or you can buy a kit like this. Unbelievable. But anyway, I want Todd to talk about the ride and a little bit about gear. So I'm just going to switch for him to get in front of the camera. Hey -o. Okay, so this morning we did Canyon Bellow. In Southern California, we have a lot of big group rides, and most of the time uh, they're fairly close to your house, so you can ride out in the morning, meet the group, and then head home. So today we did, like Bart said, about 90 miles. The first hour or so we were just cruising, it was about 57 degrees, so we started out with vests. Even though we knew it was gonna warm up, the ride was gonna get nuts and we weren't gonna, these were gonna be too warm. So we tucked them away. Now normally if it was a really hot summer day, I might not bring it, but I'll tell you why we brought it. So we go out, we hammer through the canyons, just beating each other's brains in as friends are wont to do. And then we came back, we cruised back to the coast. Bart might post some pictures of us riding along the coast, but I knew we were gonna stop at Kailani's, which is right on the sand in San Clemente and get some refreshments. And that's where the vest comes back in handy because you, yeah, you're warm and everything, but once you stop, we got some blended mocha, so your core starts to cool down. But it's a beautiful day, lots of friends walking by, riding by, you wanna stay and chat and talk about all the amazing moves you put on each other. And you wanna be warm and toasty, so you bring your vest back out and just kinda of relax. And then for us, it was just a simple one mile climb back up to the house, so that's, one of the ways to use your apparel properly if it's lightweight it's easy to tuck away and easy to bring on the ride far am i missing anything no, name of the ride the name of that ride is canyon bellow so a lot of these rides you can find them online if not you can always ping me at pedalindustries.com um and you can find me on strava todd brown my last name is pedal industries on strava but you can see a lot of these rides there's Southern California has amazing group rides Saturday and Saturdays and Sundays where you can find anywhere from 30 to 100 guys going out for 50 to 100 miles and awesome loops, incredible competition. A lot of the local pros come out when it's off season. It's a lot of fun. It's a it's a unique thing, I guess, because apparently I don't do it everywhere else. Okay, I'll switch you just for a second. All right, you guys, so bottom line is get out there, have fun, find you some group rides, make sure your gear is right, find the right stuff that fits you and works really well for you because it makes all the difference in your ride. But get out there, have fun, hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, thoughts, things like that, make sure you uh, put them below and make sure you ride safe and just have a good time. Keep out there, keep cycling strong. If you want a kit, go buy one off the website. We'll talk to you soon.